Thanks, Dad. I can't believe it, guys. I finally have Rick's gun from The Walking Dead. The cold pipe. I've been searching for this replica gun since The Walking Dead started. What is that like? Five or six years ago? Let's see. The Walking Dead first air date. What? 2010? My god, I'm getting old. Oh well. In my mind, it's only been five years ago. Now, this gun is incredible hard to find. So, it's not really the version that I wanted, because I wanted a chrome gun with steel BBs. And this is a black one with plastic BBs. But at least the size is correct. It's 6 inch. But we can change the color. I will show you that later in the video, how to make it shiny. And it's from the brand KWC, which is very good. Okay, let's open it up. Safety instructions, we don't need that. This is what we need. Very nice finish. Looks very solid. No moving parts. Everything is very secured. That's good. Feels very nice. The handle is not plastic. It's real rubber. And it's very comfortable to, to hold it. Very nice to shoot, I believe. The drum. Oh, wow. Very smooth. Very smooth. Nice. Alright, all right, the safety, yeah, the safety is right here, so that's a stupid place to put the safety because when you press it, the safety is on and you can't shoot it anymore. We got single action and dual action. Nice. The gun is all metal. And it's it's not thin metal, it's it's really thick because this gun is really heavy. I think it's more heavy than my Don Wesson. You know what? Let's weigh my guns. So we finally know. My Hitman gun, 774 gram. My Resident Evil gun, oh wow, 1 kilogram and 51 gram. My Colt 1911 We the People version. My Colt Peacemaker. 806 the Don Wesson 990 just under one kilogram the Colt Python weighs whoa almost 1.1 kilogram very beefy gun and my Desert Eagle, this will be the heaviest, 1.3 kilogram. <laughs> so, to load the shells, you put the plastic BB in the front. The CO2 capsule goes in here. This is actually a pretty good mechanism because 
if the handle doesn't have to move that means it's more stable and solid to hold so I actually prefer this but putting the cap on can sometimes be a challenge a challenge to find the thread oh got it it's pretty easy on this gun that's good ah that's because it's plastic all right that's it let's load her up and see how much fps we are getting with this the gun has no hop up and that's a good thing because it never stays where you set it and we should have 150 meters a second that's just under 500 fps so let's test that i'm gonna use the plastic bbs of 0.20 gram that were included with the gun what 542 fps damn again wow that is one powerful airsoft gun okay that might be a bit too much for an airsoft match uh, let's see how much fps we are getting with 0 0.25 gram bbs and now let's try 0 0.30 gram bbs Well, the results speak for themselves. Not only is it a very high FPS, but it's very consistent. Come on guys, let's go to my testing facility. Alright, time to do the accuracy test, but before I do that, I always fire a few rounds and do some practice because every gun feels different, has a different trigger pull and the aim is also different and I have to adjust the sight. You can do that with this gun, but only uh, up and down, not left and right. And here are the results this is from five meters away as you can see they are not all in one group this is from 10 meters away we are getting some spread here and this is from 15 meters away as you can see the spread is getting very wide And this is from 20 meters away, as you can see, a very wide spread, it's all over the place, one here and I missed one. And believe me, I did a lot of tries, but it's very hard to aim. That's because the sight is not perfect, there is some play in it 
and it's also hard to see black on black and I could actually see uh, the BB not going in a straight line also this gun is pretty loud it almost sounds like a real 22 Alright, time to test the power of this Colt Python Airsoft Revolver. There's a fresh can of CO2 in there and starting now we are going to use 0.30 gram plastic BBs. Alright, let's do some power tests now. We have 15 cardboards here. Let's see how many we can penetrate. All right, let's see. One, nine, ten, eleven on the first one. Yes, eleven cardboards. And the two other BBs were stuck in number ten. So that is very impressive for an airsoft gun. And how many empty cans can we penetrate? Let's find out. Entry and exit. Entry and exit. Entry and exit. almost an entry so the answer is three and almost four but what about a full sealed off can Wow! Completely demolished and it went through. But can we pop some balloons with it? Because with my other airsoft guns the plastic BBs just bounce back off so I had to fire five or six shots before the balloons pop. Let's see! Yes, it can. And how about a water balloon? Because my other airsoft guns could not break this water balloon. Whoa, <laughs> what a splash. I'm all wet. That's what she said. But. How many balloons can we shoot in a row? <laughs> Let's try it out! I'm gonna try five balloons and it's not so easy to line them all up in a straight line. There you have it folks, the answer to the question nobody asked. You can pop two balloons with this powerful airsoft revolver. I'm gonna try and shoot this balloon out of the sky, but there's a lot of wind so I don't know if, if I can do it. And how about a glass jar? Absolutely nothing folks, 
So let's try it again, but with a fresh CO2 can, just to make sure. Nope, not even with 500 FPS, it's possible to break glass with plastic BBs. As you can see, I did some testing here to see what's under the black paint. And we can safely remove it with this very soft sandpaper that turns around very fast. And it also polishes up the metal so let's get to it and it's finished it's actually the next day because i had to work all night to get in those uh, small areas and corners i had to take the gun completely apart and now we have a brushed aluminium look. It's not chrome, but it is shiny. So I like it a lot more than matte black. I've painted this red, so now it's a lot easier to aim. Like and subscribe everyone. And thank you for watching and you all have a nice day. Bye.